was able to be successful with uh, a recording this morning and I want to show you the video see if you can see it of the card that we're gonna make today hope you will enjoy it it's been a lot of fun working on these this is another one that Ida sent uh, materials from what Ida has sent me and I still have a few more cards my goal is to use every single bit so um, I'm enjoying that I hope you are and uh, of course Ida will get all of these cards that I make back to her so I'll send them in one big envelope back to her so if you want to do that then let me know and um, I can send cards to you but you'll need to first send me some materials to work with so it's up to you with what you send um, and I'll work with it I'll mix in some of my stuff if I need to I try to use all of your things as much as I can in one card but if I have things that I think will work with it I'll do that so anyway all right so let's get started on this video and let me show you what magic we're gonna make today okay all right looks like everything's set all right so here's one that I started this is more of Ida's things uh, we're actually coming to an end of her packet so she sent a lot of good things as I've said before and I have really enjoyed putting together cards uh, with her things so um, I do recommend using this glue but I do have a lot of the off-brand glue that you will see me use when this is up there's no need to waste use what you have this is the back the substrate four inches by six inches it's the back uh, I mean uh, it was a painting that I did for a practice uh, several years ago so um, sometimes on my videos I will practice paint an object or whatever I'm painting and that way I work out as much of the problems so that was one of them so how I'm going to start with this one is I'm going to which I've already kind of set this up just to make it go a little bit faster in this case but I wanted to use something with uh, and I can cut this down but our pictures tell our story I have this ribbon and I have these two which I think work well together okay um, and I liked that uh, the pictures tell a story I like the idea of the clock although I probably should put my glasses on to see which way it goes because I can't see that very well so before I put this on I guess I do need to make sure that I am <laughs> putting it in the right direction oh my god 10 11 12 that looks like that could be right I don't know which way are we looking at all right well anyway we'll put it on then we got some of the butterflies this is a little flower that I think I'm gonna just cut out while we're chatting and I don't know I just kind of thought that it was interesting because pictures they do tell our story and um, sometimes we forget to take more pictures sometimes we wish we had taken more uh, especially as we get older it is nice to look back at ourselves and think wow that was really you know I really had that color hair or what was I thinking but it's still nice to see so we can I think incorporate this in here no one has to know this is the ocean and this is the sky I mean no one has to know that so if I put these two together this is uh, half of a doily I think it goes that way and I, I mean I kind of liked putting it here I also I'm not a fan of this line and so what if I cover that up see as I look at this but I could turn this upside down and if I did that that way I don't have to do extra work oh yeah see nobody would know so I like this 
I look for what can be easy for me. Um, so the first thing we need to do, or I need to do, is start mapping out. If I glue this down first, then I glue this on top. And so you can use uh, ribbons. Um, you know, this is paper and a ribbon. And hopefully this is going in the right direction. It's really so hard to tell. Wait a minute. Maybe this is it. I think it's my eyes. I can't really make it out. You know, I have lace, I had LASIK done, but some of these, I don't know if they're not real times, but this looks like a 10 and a 2. So that looks like that would be 12. 1, 2, 3. What is that? That's not how you do 4. All right, maybe this isn't the real, real numbers. Okay, maybe this is a sundial. <laughs> well, we have a still tell time. All right, all right, so I'm gonna go with it this way, or this way. You know somebody's gonna be looking at this card thinking, they're gonna be able to see it clearly, and they're gonna think she really did not know what she was doing on this. But if we put it, see, that, that could work. Let's see what would happen if we do something like this. So anyway, we're just going to stick this on however it looks. So it's not very identifiable, so I'm not really worried about it at the moment. So there's that. So that's layers. So we have to determine how we're going to glue things down. And you know it's going to bug me. But I'm trying to see if there's how the flowers are going to be. So the butterflies do not help me out. These other little numbers are not so much of a help either. So I think it's just whatever. So if I pull this down a little bit, that leaves room for these little butterflies right here. So maybe we do something like this and then we can do this down here. Now, oh, you know what? She's back. It's Fiona. I'll be back. Okay, so we know, or I know, that I need it to be down here, but what would happen if I cut some of this out? So I'm going to find out. So I want to come up and... Maybe um, something along these lines, but I don't want to expose that little white area. Well, that's okay. You want to be that way. Yeah, it's been a day, so it it doesn't surprise me. Actually, I lost footage. I made a recording earlier today, and I lost the footage to it. I was like, really? But it happens. I'll still post the picture in the group. And it's one of Ida's, so she'll end up with it. She'll just, some of these won't have uh, videos because I lost the footage. Now, I can, well, now it's Lucy. So here, I could, I could cut this off because this really doesn't have any use. And do something like that. Or come in like that. Alrighty, I'll be back again. So let's just see, instead of making these look like eyes, if I glue them more here, will they, then that gives it more of a, that might be better. It, I like how it's that's working and I like how this is and I like how this is I like the flower peeping through or is it peeking 
Which one is it? Hiding. What is it? Peekaboo. So peek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, it's uh, peeking through. And then we've got this here. Is there anything else that I could attach to this card while I am? I think that I don't see anything that's going to add. So I think we're ready to glue. So, um, we'll start by folding over, you know, folding over, uh, folding over like this, and folding over like that. Sometimes that helps, but you know what? Sometimes I still do this and forget, and guess what? I don't care. It, it's... It's not so important that we have to be that critical. So I think it's, I'll just do like this a little bit. So I'm trying to get it centered. Again, not a big deal if I don't. And I'll put the fray down here. Push down really well. I'm going to use my brayer because I have it. Might as well use it. The next thing is, well, we can do the bottom or the top. So this is going to go under. But what I would like to do before I do that is glue this and glue this, but that way, I, before I push everything down, I can sneak this under however I want. And as a matter of fact, I don't like the sharp edge, so let me see if I can smooth that a little bit. So there we go. I, I, it's just, this is what art is. It's having fun. And when you start making larger pieces, you know, sometimes the, the decisions might be more difficult because you're working with bigger pieces, more pieces. But the idea, I think, is still the same. It's all about putting yourself into the, the art. Okay, so maybe something like that if I want it. It would help for me to glue that side too. So a little glue down here. Maybe something like that. I'm gonna use my brayer to really push things down. And I'm going back and forth because this side right here is not tacky enough and it could just be the substrate. Sometimes glues will have trouble with certain materials or certain, you know, this is a paint, it might not adhere as well, I don't know. But that can happen. Oops, get that glue off. Okay, so the next thing is to pull this down and it goes here, and then this will be on top. And we're gonna do something like that. Whatever comes out, it's, it's gonna be good. Just wanna make sure I get this on the right side. So this is the back. There's just so much fun that, I guess I need to be careful. Look at all that glue. We'll save it, put some here. Really try very hard to not waste too much. One thing is, uh, I grew up with a grandmother who talked about the depression and the difficulties that they faced and a lot of people faced. So I do have that in me, you know, in my mind, in my memory, I should say. And this one is my fingers are gonna stick. So let me do it this way. And with that being the case, I, I do keep in mind the importance of not wasting. 
and using what we have. So I'll we'll just glue a little bit down. See if I can take some of this glue off here and get at the edges before I wipe this up. But my fingers are sticking, so that's the other thing. So I think we're good there. Let me uh, get that little rag, little towel. So these little things are supposed to be flushable. And uh, my youngest one sometimes has issues with that, uh, especially when he was a lot younger. You know how it is with kids. They're learning to do things. And so at the time, we were living overseas. We were living in Portugal. And he would flush these. And it totally messed up the sewer system for us. It clogged it up. It made a mess, that kid. Anyway, what are we going to do? We got it fixed. All right. So, and of course, now we tell him, please, and it just don't flush. And he uh, luckily just doesn't need them anymore. So I use them for this because they're going to go to waste if not. All right. So I'm going to pull this up here. And if you do have some of these things, you know, baby wipes or some people can make their own. You can take um, the the old boxes of baby wipes and then just put water in there. I've done that before. It worked okay. It wasn't like the greatest thing. I didn't think that it was the, the best, but you know, it worked for a while. And then I think I lost the container in a move or something, so then it just became one of these things where we were just we had these and we started using them. So I'm going to trim this up. And the butterflies. I feel like I'm missing a butterfly. So here's one. Did it get over here? Yes. So we got the butterflies. And, you know, I could do something around the flower. Maybe something over here. So I like how that looks. These are some tweezers that I have, but I cannot do anything with them. Uh, not for me anyway, other than, you know, pick stuff up or push things down, keep the sides. Seeing if there's anything I can get under, like right there. It doesn't feel like it's glued as well as it could be. So I'll squeeze um, some glue under there. And let's see if this works. Go ahead and get the brayer out. Hopefully there's not a whole lot of glue getting on here because I don't want it to have issues when we start doing uh, jelly printing because that's going to be something that I'm going to show you that I do and how I do it. And if you like it, you like it. And if All right, so with jelly printing, as I was saying earlier, if you like it, uh, you'll like it, and if you don't, then you don't, and it's totally fine. But here's the card that we finished. How cool is this? So let me pull it up so that you can see it better. Isn't that awesome? Thank you so much, Ida. You have sent me some wonderful things, and I still have more that I'm working through. I've got two, two more cards in the uh, next in line. So you're going to get a nice group of cards uh, for your return. So, all right, there we go. I'm going to put the blooper of the, well, I, can, I guess it's a blooper, but it's the lost footage. So I'm showing you the card that I make, but I don't have the footage. So anyway, stay for that. All right, this is what we're doing. I hope you're all doing well. I'm at a different angle, so who knows? I look at myself and 
that looks okay. Um, I really hope I didn't lose the footage for this video because I can't see it right now. But I hope you like it if it's there. <laughs> I'm saying all of this before I start putting things together. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it fun. And thank you for bearing with me as I find what works. I'm not sure if I like the camera just putting, being back on me like this, but it might make me look younger. So who can complain about that? <laughs> so anyway, all right, enjoy.